Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead and hit that like, leave a comment, and ring the bell so you get notified when I drop a new video. So today I'm in Power BI, and I put together this, uh, this uh, supply chain metrics dashboard here. Uh, you know, that's what data nerds do in their spare time. You just put together a, a mock dashboards on your own laptop uh, in your spare time, right? Doesn't everyone do that? Uh, in any event, what I want to talk about is the drill through feature in Power BI. And I'm gonna uh, do that uh, in the form of a case here. So uh, let's pretend that you are the uh, chief supply chain officer at a corporation here and you've got a meeting with your division heads. And what you really care about is this perfect order percentage. You'd like this perfect order percentage to be 89% and above. And so uh, the perfect order percentage here is a combination of all these different uh, metrics right here. So you take uh, the in full uh, delivery percentage, the accurate documentation percentage, the on time delivery percentage, and the damage free delivery percentage, and you multiply them together and you get a perfect order percentage. And you have four different um, uh, division heads that are reporting up to you. So you got a transportation, technology, healthcare, and energy. Uh, division head and they're coming to this meeting and you want to quickly scan and say hey um, let's take a look at the perfect order percentage you know all eyes on me right all eyes on this metric right here uh, to quote the uh, uh, the great two Pac. Uh, let's go ahead and look at transportation here I can see that transportation the perfect order percentage for transportation is 89.8 Had a little spike here um, but uh, that, uh, that manager is going to earn his bonus. Technology, 85.2, got some work to do. Uh, skip over to energy, 89.4 perfect order percentage. So not bad, uh, pretty much across the board here looking good. But then let's go into healthcare. Healthcare is the problem, right? It's always a problem, 77.9%. So we want to coach up our healthcare manager. Right, we're not going to lay him off. Right, uh, yeah, we want to give him information he needs to understand the problem, so he can get his team motivated to to shipping out orders um, at a better percentage clip here. Seventy nine, uh, the least amount of orders shipped here in healthcare, right, uh, as opposed to other divisions, but the most uh, errors. And so I've got another. Uh, more of a report here, right? Not a dashboard, more of a report, right? Reports generally show your data in straight table form at a very granular level. So if I'm an analyst, I can take this, use this in my daily activity um, because this is gonna lead to action. I can look at, I can look at my customer here and say uh, on this date across these four orders, we really had some problems. We had a lot of problems going on here. So you can track down whoever shipped out these orders and uh, you know ship them out if, if need be but or understand you know what happened so I've got a report and then I've got a dashboard here so what I want to do is I want to I want to drill through here I want to put a drill through on this report so when I select something uh, on my main dashboard right I get uh, you know this is filtered so I only look at information that I care about and so how would you go about doing that uh, I've got I've got my tables here with all my information in it, and so I want to add a drill through from our uh, int internal division. Let me uh, widen that a bit. On my internal division, I'm going to put that here on the drill through, right? And we're going to come back in here, and then I also want to put one on my error category. So I'm going to put that down here as well. And so we have to be on the report. We have to be on that report that we want to drill through to in order to apply the drill through. So I've got it on internal division and error category. So if I go back and notice what happened, it put this back uh, button up here, but we'll go in here. So now if I want to, let's go ahead and I'm gonna click off healthcare. I just wanna look at in full delivery, right? We put a drill through on our um, our error category and on our internal division. But I'm just going to right click here, go to drill through, and this is my drill through detail because I want to see in full delivery. And you'll notice I have 38 um, errors that come back, shipping errors that come back, and they're all in full delivery, right? My error category is in full delivery uh, for all divisions. Now, what if I wanted to 
uh, filter on back to healthcare, right? This is our problem uh, problem division here. If I if I filter on healthcare and in full delivery, right? I'm going to drill through. Um, well, first, let me let me point this out, right? What are we looking for? We're looking to get eight. Notice that error count says eight, right? We're looking to find eight errors. So I drill through, drill through detail, and we don't get eight. We get 38. Why? Um, it did not filter on that division. That's because what we need to do, let me go back here, we need to enable keep all filters, right? So let's turn keep all filters on and try it again. So now I have a filter on healthcare, and I have a filter on our error category of in full delivery. When I drill through, right, I have my eight records. So I'm only concerned about these eight errors. I can give this to an analyst. They can run off and uh, fix the problem. Uh, you'll notice here that um, when you look at the filters, you'll notice that the error category came across in full delivery. Uh, an internal division is healthcare, right? I didn't specifically ask for healthcare to to come over, or I didn't right click on uh, on internal division, but it put in this additional uh, filter here uh, for healthcare. So that um, is very powerful here for for filtering what we need from our from our high level. Uh, dashboard. So what we can do now, you see we have this back button, so I can hold down uh, control, like, and it takes me back to my dashboard. Uh, if I wanted to, right, if I wanted to uh, drill on all three here, so let's say I've got, um, well, I'm going to pick three, back to healthcare, let's pick on healthcare. So you'll notice I'm filtered on healthcare, I'm going to be filtered on Q3 2019, and I'm going to be filtered on in full delivery. So if I drill through on those three, notice uh, error categories in full delivery, my healthcare division is healthcare, and my quarter is Q3 2019. So that's what Keep All Filters does, right? Very, very powerful. So going back here, I want to talk about, um, well, let me go back here. I want to talk about how you can change the default back button, right? Like I said, if I hold down Control, it'll take me back. But I can change this. So if I go to um, uh, Image here, go to Image, and I have my own back button image here. Right, we want to size this up. You can use any image you want. This is uh, something that I had uh, lying around here, so I'm just going to delete. Well, I'm just going to remove that image right there. Put in my own back button. I can click on it and format image. We want the action to be on, and then the type is back. Perfect. So now, when I click on this image that I just bought in, it does the same thing. It takes me back to our full. Uh, dashboard so that is really handy as well so the next thing I want to show you here is how do we build this this is a table both of these are tables right so I'm just gonna get rid of all of our filters for now because I want everything to show these are both tables I'm gonna spare you all of the uh, all of the styling that I do to get it to look this way but I do want to show you how we can get uh, these he this header in here that tells us what we're filtered by, right? So right now we're not filtered by anything. Error category, all categories, division, all divisions. And so to do that, I have in a calculations table here what I'm calling selected division and selected error category, right? So let's look at selected error category for a second. Let's look at that, uh, that DAX. And so you'll notice that I have uh, four different error categories here, accurate documentation, damage-free delivery, in-full delivery, and uh, on-time delivery. And so with this selected error category, when I am filtered, uh, what I'm saying here is I want to, I'm using the selected value function to grab uh, the value in this, uh, in my error category field, right? So selected value, it returns the value of the column reference. This is a column reference to error category, right? It returns that value if it is the only value available in the filter. Otherwise, it doesn't return anything. So let's say if I were on, let me go back to my, my main sheet, if I were to drill on in full delivery right here, my selected value would return in full delivery, right? So I say return error category, literally 
the text error category and if uh, my selected uh, error category, right, which, which is using this, uh, if that is blank, then just show all categories. Otherwise, show the selected error category, which is going to be in full delivery. So if I go here, again, oh, I took off, um, did I take off the drill through? I did. Um, let me put it back on real quick so you can see that again. So if I put my internal division back on here, and if I put my um, error category on here, right, let's just size those up and if I go back here right click drill through you'll see in full delivery is right there and I've got my 38 uh, error count so it's the same DAX that I'm using for division right so same same exact DAX it's just I'm using a different table this is the table this is the field I'm using internal division I want to return literally division which you see right here and in, in the uh, uh, colon and I want to concatenate uh, either all divisions, if a, if a division is not if a division is not blank, or uh, the selected division. Right now, I don't have I'm not filtered on a division. But if I were to go here and just select division transportation, and go to drill through, you'll see the division is transportation. So that is how that works. And this is literally a table. I can uh, step you through some of the formatting here. I'm not going to build this up, but we can uh, peek behind uh, the covers here a little bit. Let me uh, select on this, right? And we'll go in here. So notice that I don't have any style. Well, I have style, but this chart doesn't have, this table doesn't have any style. So I usually go style none. Um, and then with the background, have background on, and I have it black right and values um, there's only one value right there's only one value and we take a look at the values it's selected error category selected division right those are the two fields that are in this table so there's only one value so my font color is white and my background color is black right so that that makes sense if you want to see the uh, let's go back not style if you want to see in values I'm using a I'm using the den font family and a 22 point text size if you want to uh, copy that and then from a column header perspective I make my column headers black because I don't want them to show see how when I change them to white right there they show up I make them black they don't show um, the background color, I don't think the background color really matters uh, here. Let me see if I were to change this. I don't think it has. Well, it does have an effect. Okay, so I have that black. Let's change that to black as well. Um, column headers. And then I have the totals turned off, right? So there's no title and there's no total, right? Total should be off. So that's how we would build something like this. Just make sure when you build out your, your two uh, uh, DAX measures, you add them to the table here, um, right? Here are the two. And then you make the little tweaks, the little style tweaks that I just told you about. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Remember, drill through, very useful. I'll start with a high level uh, dashboard here. And uh, we use our drill through to get to a more granular level. You create another um, intermediate uh, dashboard or intermediate report and you can drill through to that report using the technique that I just showed you. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching everyone.